Surrender to guidance. Surrender to guidance. And understand that there are bigger things at play that are there to give you the path that you are supposed to go. The formula Tim Horwood, take one. My full name is Timothy Markle Horwood. It's very hard to define what I do. I'm in the sort of broadcast and music space. I'm labeled a creative director a lot of the time, a content producer, but I'm involved in the creation of things, visual and musical things, and often where those things combine. I did a TV commercial when I was about 10 years old, and I walked onto the set, and there were cameras and lights, and something struck a chord in me. I started acting in TV shows and presenting and whatever, and just in that process, I got very interested in how it's made. So even when I was then, um, you know, doing quite well as a presenter and that kind of stuff, I was actually a camera assistant as well. So in all my school holidays and on the weekends, I would carry tripods and roll cables and I was learning how it works and learning how to operate the camera, learning how to operate edit suites all the way through high school. So I went straight from high school straight into working and found that the practical experience that I was learning was more than any school at the time could offer. We were creating some of the first content for, for the mass audience, for the real South African audience. I was one of the first Channel O presenters, the first crew of presenters in 1997. Me, Thomla Dandala, Fat Joe, Pushy Dunn, Bongani Bingo, I believe it or not. I was making a show called Castle Lao, which is like a Friday night music kind of show. I was lucky enough to be involved in it because that was an era in television in South Africa where suddenly content was being made for the people. It was content being made for the generation that was coming up now, that had a new freedom, that was creating the most incredible music and culture. We gave birth to Mzege Zege. He was just on the radio. We were like, come on a TV show but he didn't want to show his face, so he made a t-shirt, cut holes, and literally that's, these kind of things were happening at that time where things were just booming. For me, the thing that gets me going or inspired or motivated to stand up is not just creating content, but it's like, what is that content doing? We got on this mission to, to showcase the continent to itself, to kind of bring the content together, and at the same time, to showcase it to the world. And it was a very interesting time because the music was incredible. This is 2005, so the music was amazing what was happening. But the music videos weren't reflecting the quality of the music. In South Africa, yes, the videos were, were there. But in the rest of the continent, and it's a broad statement to make, but generally speaking, the videos were not of a caliber that could be shown to an international audience. So the mission was also to upskill and to, to encourage people to improve the quality of their music videos. The videos are your number one marketing tool, so the videos have to get people's attention and be familiar, but still hold an African identity. And over the years, to see what's happened now, where Afrobeats and where African music has got to now, and culture and dance, it's nice to know, like I played a little part in that, in helping push this culture, this sound, this style to the world. We want the whole time. In the career that I'm in, I do have to stay in touch with what's going on. But at the same time, I also have to realize I'm not instinctively in touch with what's going on anymore. And for me, one of my selling points back in the day when I created content, what I would bring to the table is this instinctive understanding of the audience. When you start realizing that your instinct is no longer aligned with the sort of youth culture, it's also important to let go of that and to be like, okay, that's not my role anymore. My role is now to maybe put teams together of people who do know what's going on and then use the experience I've had and the knowledge I have to kind of help them with some other principles that they don't instinctively get. And I like working with younger people who, who are bringing new stuff to my now quite tired approach. My formula is number one, surrender to guidance. Surrender to guidance. Understand that there are bigger things at play that are there to give you the path that you are supposed to go. Number two, be prepared for what you're gonna do. Be prepared, be prepared and extra prepared. Number three, put in the work, put in the effort. Learn, work your way all the way, understand the industry as a whole so that when you get to that point, you know about it and be proud of what you put out. If your name is on something, 
Make sure you're proud of it. Put in that little bit of extra time. And if that's the level that you're going for, you will be unmatched and you will reach and stay at the top. I am Tim Horwood and that is my formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this is Channel O, music over Earthang. I haven't said that in 25 years. <laughs> this is Channel O. <laughs>